Lars von Trier's 1984 film The Element of Crime is the controversial Danish director's theatrical debut in the first in his lesser-known Europa trilogy. It's a surreal neo-noir thriller that follows Fisher, a disgruntled detective on the hunt for a serial killer who murders young girls selling lottery tickets. Fisher, who quickly reaches a dead end on the case, decides to meet up with his former mentor, a disgraced criminologist named Osborne. Osborne penned a book named The Element of Crime, which lays out a controversial methodology to catch a killer, empathizing with the killer. Fisher roams a rainy, gross, and dystopian Europe in search of the killer, losing himself to Osborne's method and slowly finding himself slipping into psychopathy. The Element of Crime is an occasionally haunting, surreal film, focused less on its plot and character development and more on its style. The film's cinematography is famous for the use of a sodium light, drenching the film in heavy, intrusive sapia. The set design is otherworldly and alien, comparable to no other film I've seen before. Unfortunately, the praise mostly ends here. The Element of Crime is a batshit insane mess of a film with little to no focus on a cohesive plot. Even though meticulously crafted atmospheric doesn't mesh together from scene to scene and is inconsistent and at times nonsensical. Characters behave irrationally with little to no explanation. Osborne's methodology is explained poorly and Fisher's descent into madness feels largely unearned. The film's pace is absolutely glacial but that doesn't feel intentional. Rather, it seems that Von Trier had no idea how to properly pace a feature film the first time around and fucked it up badly on his first try. There are moments of legitimate shock, but they feel unearned and out of place in a film that's otherwise painfully uneventful. Underdeveloped characters, laughable dialogue, overblown cinematography, amateurish acting, and a plot that borders on unintelligible hinder the film's potential as a truly haunting experience. The film's ending is perhaps the best part of it, which is absolutely chilling. I recommend The Element of Crime to huge fans of Lars von Trier's filmography and those who have a near fetishistic appreciation for dreamlike art house cinema. Otherwise, this is the worst entry in the Europa trilogy and merits a score of 5 out of 10.